Hi everyone. This is Phyllis Rose. I'm here with the Phyllis Rose Show to show you how to make a fennel leek and pear soup. It's really delicious, all healthy, and I started today with um, two leeks, white only, the white parts of it, chopped in about quarter, half inch slices. And then um, one fennel bulb, and also um, slice that up in about quarter inch pieces, slices. And uh, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and we just saute that till they get nice and soft and flavorful. And it's smelling heavenly, I have to tell you. I'm loving it. So here's what it looks like. I just put it in a big Dutch oven and put it on high heat and uh, keep stirring so that it doesn't get too brown and um, let it soften up. So we're going to make a nice uh, fennel leek and pear soup and I think you're really going to enjoy this because it's um, blended and so it's a smooth soup and it's a beautiful color of green and it's just fabulous to have um, like a nice little starter before dinner or anytime actually, lunch, whatever, snack. It's, a, it's just a great little soup. It's very flavorful and I think you'll really enjoy it and it's easy to make. All these dishes that I do are easy to make. So I'm still home alone. This is during the coronavirus and I'm just finding something to do that I enjoy doing and thought I would share with my friends and family. A lot of people have asked me for my recipes and things that I like and these are just my favorites. So these are just Phyllis's favorites and I hope you enjoy them and like them. If you have any questions, um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It's free and then you can comment and ask me any questions or anything you like and I'm happy to answer them and um, also if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to add and, or see cooked, I'm happy to try it. I'll do anything um, once. Anyway, um, I just enjoy doing this. I'm not a professional uh, and I'm probably not the best at it either, but I just get creative and some of my friends like the creativity in me, so hope you enjoy it. So this is just about soft and we're going to add, um, we're going to start adding things little by little. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what order so I don't miss anything. Um, this is all live and not scripted, so I'm just kind of winging it. So feel free to critique me if you'd like to see something done differently or if they do something too much, tell me, you know, I'll work on that. So anyway, uh, we're gonna add next the pears and the salt and pepper. So I have diced two pears and, oops, forget where I put my utensils. Just a little bit. I think it's maybe a little too hot. So I've diced a couple of pears. You see, I peeled them first. And I have a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle that over everything. I'm going to keep stirring for about three more minutes. Mmm, oh my god. Oh, smells really good. I've made this a few times before. I really enjoy this soup. It's fun to get out when you have company over and maybe a little starter before dinner. Put it in some small cups and let them try it. Um, so far, everybody that's been here has enjoyed it and really liked it. And always ask me for the recipe, so I, I'm happy to pass that out as well. Um, all right. Once these are, get a little soft, the pears, we're going to add the cashews and the uh, vegetable broth. And I like a um, fat-free organic vegetable broth. 
And we're going to add three cups of that. And uh, the measuring cup to that. So we're for three cups. Everything gets nice and soft and really flavorful. And the pears are just really smooth and interesting. A little citrus, but not much. And But they're smooth and they just make a really nice addition to the soup. I had never had a soup with pears in it before. And I tried this and um, I love this. So next we're going to add the cashews and the um, vegetable broth. And then we're going to heat it for another about five minutes. So, so these all get soft. So that's about a, a half a cup of cashews and uh, three cups of vegetable broth. After that, all we do is stir in the spinach and we blend it, and um, it makes a beautiful smooth soup. You're gonna love it, and it's easy. This doesn't take long at all. It's just a couple of things: add this, wait a few minutes, add that, wait a few minutes, and before you know it, voila, you have a really nice soup. So, I've not been watching the time, but you can kind of tell when things are ready when they're soft. And the nuts are kind of softened in there a little bit. So it's going to take a few minutes. So anyway, just while we're waiting on this, we'll talk about the show a little bit. Since this is a brand new show and uh, it's something new that I'm doing. And it's just to enjoy doing what I love. And that's entertaining. And I love travel and I love food. I like wine. I like wine pairings and um, cars. So we're going to do a lot of fun things. We're, we're going to go sightseeing. And we're going to go to some places that might be around that you're not aware of that are kind of fun. Little places to go into. Uh, dives and just little places. There's a little place up the street that has uh, comedy uh, one night a week. And who knew? So it's kind of fun to see what's out there in your own town and, you know, enjoy something that you didn't know is in your backyard. So we're going to do some of that. And uh, local sightseeing things. A lot of locals here don't ever sightsee and see what we have in our own town. So we're going to try a little bit of that too. And we're going to taste some food and we're going to talk to some chefs in some of the restaurants. And that'll be fun. And we'll see what kind of cars they drive. It's always nice to see what kind of cars the guys drive around here. So, you know, some of them have some really old, cool, interesting cars that you didn't know. And it's in their garage and nobody ever asks them about what car they drive. They usually ask them about what food they're serving and that's all they talk about. So it's kind of nice to get to know some of the guys in a different way. So we're gonna do that as well and have some fun. Might do some tailgating, ride in a couple cars, you can go along with me and um, just have a good time. So it's about having fun. And so if you wanna join me, have some fun, you know, check in with me and see what's going on. We're gonna be doing all kinds of things, cooking all kinds of different things, tasting different wines. We're gonna do some wine tastings, some blind wine tastings and have some fun with friends. We're gonna interview a few people that you might know and um, see what they have to say. So let's just check on this and see how we're doing. Mmm. Smells really, really good. I'm gonna just give it a few more minutes. Yeah, just about there. So make sure the nuts are softened and the uh, vegetable broth is cooked in with the rest of the ingredients. We're going to give it a few more minutes and then we're going to blend it 
and with some spinach. Um, we're going to put two cups of packed spinach, just spinach leaves that I've packed into a two cup container. Baby, I have baby spinach here because I really like baby spinach. It's tender and just really delicious. So we're gonna put that in there next and make our soup turn green and also add some really good nutrients. All the leeks and the uh, fennel and uh, the nuts and everything that's in this dish is really healthy for you, really good for you. And um, that's what this is all about is tasting things that taste good and that you want to eat but yet are really healthy and nutritious. We're trying to keep our immune system up during this um, time of coronavirus because we don't want to risk getting it. So if you can get your body in tune and in shape so that you can not worry about that, um, I think it would be to your advantage. So I'm trying, I don't know. I just do what I can do. So I can do here, get in there here. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it's wonderful. I love this soup. All right, we're gonna add two cups of spinach. And it's packed in here pretty good, so. There we go. And we're just gonna let the spinach uh, get a little wilted, but not much, just let it kind of get wet, per se. And as soon as it does, I'm gonna turn the burner off, put the lid on, so the spinach can just kind of steam for a second while we get the blender turned on. I have a ninja, I was wondering if I have a place over there where I can do it, but I guess we'll just do it here, because I don't, oh yeah, I do have a plug on that side. Okay, great. new kitchen here. I just moved in here not too long ago, so um, still learning where everything is and what I have. It's kind of fun. This is my dream kitchen I've always wanted all my life, and I got it. So it's kind of what you do when you get older. You create a bucket list and you start checking it all off. I don't know what you do when you get it all done. smaller pieces. I don't use the big pieces that much, so it uh, took me a minute to figure it all out. All right. See if we can't find something to scoop this in there with. Let's just scoop this all in our blender as much as we can get to put in here. probably use a soup puree if you wanted to as well, but I used this last time. It worked beautifully, so I'm going to try it again. Yeah, I'm going to be able to fit all this in here. This is great. Do it all in one time. And I'm messy. I always have a mess to clean up afterwards, so I'm just, I'm not a professional, I've not been trained, so I'm just kind of doing the best I can do with what I know how. It's still fun. Kind of like when you were a kid in school and you made a mess with paints and stuff, you know? Because you're new at it, you don't know all the little tricks yet. That's me.
this, this come out. So this is beautiful. It's a uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous suit. Let me get a spoon and try it real quick. Hmm. Oh my God. Better try it twice. I don't know if the first time if I could if I really tasted it right. I better taste it again. Hmm. Make this. It's really good. You're gonna love it. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll come back again and try something else. Thanks. Have a great day. Happy Easter. Bye.